Alright guys and gals, today I got a special video for you guys. I'm going to give you a video on how to catch more speckled trout and more redfish while wade fishing. I've been receiving some emails asking me exactly what I'm doing uh, to catch these specks and these redfish that I'm posting on YouTube. So I'm going to share my tactics and explain what's going on. Uh, while I'm weight fishing, what I'm thinking about, and hopefully this will help you guys catch more fish in the future. And as a bonus, I'm going to show you exactly the fish that I catch and show you that my tactics do work. So stay tuned, and here we go. I'm going to give you some several lessons on how I catch fish when I when I go weight fishing. What exactly I'm looking for. Right now I'm scanning the bottom of the floor. I feel hard sand with an occasional seagrass. Um, predator fish they like the transition from seagrass to sand bottom and I usually will fish it but I'm just to save some time I'm trying to walk out further to a gut. Um, looking for birds looking for any activity on top of the water like mullet, splashing mullet, any signs of predatory hunt. Um, so that's what I'm doing right now. And then once I find a spot that I want to try out, I'll park there for a few minutes and start casting. But right now we got a low tide, uh, transitioning to a high tide. Okay, since I know the current is going, it's, it's an outgoing tide, so I know the current's going from right to left. What I'm going to do is I'm going to fish. I see a small current up here. I'm going to fish with it and bring my bait against it to give it a, the, the bait a natural look like it's struggling against that current. Hopefully that'll trigger some predator fish to hit it if they're out there. I'll throw out my lure. Give it a few seconds to drop on the floor, and I'll do a slow double twitch retrieve while keeping my line tight so I can feel any type of hit, get that sensitivity level, sensitivity level up. Now, I know this is a good area because there's a lot of moving water, and I know right in front of me, since I fished this area a few times, that there is actually a a drop off about 20 yards so I like to fish currents with transitions whether it be drop offs or grass um, and I know that that's probably my best bet to hit one of those predatory fish redfish trout maybe even flounder but most likely trout or redfish so now it's just being patient keep working your bait have faith and most importantly have fun. Fun, 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 fun. I'm gonna try different retrieves too. Uh, slower retrieve, faster retrieve, see uh, what kind of presentation the fish are triggering the fish.
All right, well, there you have it, folks. I hope you enjoyed uh, this video on how to catch more specks and reds while weight fishing. Uh, if you haven't yet, please hit that subscribe button. I'm going to bring out some more videos in the future, bring you some different content. I'm trying to work on uh, some ideas right now, but uh, yeah, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment. I would like to hear what you think about my tactics and the way I think when I'm out in the waters. If you have any further questions, please don't be afraid to email me. My email address is below in the description. I always answer my emails in a timely manner too. So, we'll see you guys next time. Feel the world, feel the world.